Imagine you want your end users to be able to install applications at the click of a button. Now with Nutanix Column, you can. I'm gonna show you guys how to install Nutanix Column and get it configured. Hi, welcome to Tech Topics. I'm Michael Haig, a systems reliability engineer out of the Durham, North Carolina office. Today we're going to be talking about Nutanix Calm. Calm allows you to select, provision, and manage your business applications across both your public and private clouds. It allows your end users to do self-service application deployment and management. It also allows your admins to do budgeting and costing across your public and private cloud. So here's our freshly deployed AOS 5.5 Prism Central instance. We're going to walk through the steps to enable Nutanix Calm. A Nutanix Calm is integrated into Prism Central, so there's no extra, extra VM uh, that you have to deploy. So now with 5.5, if you click on this question mark icon, we'll see this new in Prism Central option. We're going to walk through the self-service and apps section. So first off, if you haven't already connected to an Active Directory instance, we'll need to walk through that. So I'm going to click New Directory and fill out the relevant details. Now obviously, these are going to be different for your environment. And next, I'll need to do a service account. This can be any sort of read-only account uh, that you need. For, for more info on what this is uh, doing, feel free to scope out the new tag support port. So now that we've got AD connected, the next step is to configure self-service. So the self-service portal and uh, Nutanix Calm share the same backend, uh, so we'll need to have both enabled here. Uh, we see that we're gonna first, we have an opportunity to add an SSP admin. In this case, I'm going to do uh, an admin group. But feel free to add uh, whichever group or users that you feel is applicable. Uh, next, we see here the default cluster. I'm going to uh, stick with the series cluster, which is an AHV 5.5 uh, five cluster. And next, I'm going to choose which uh, networks I want to have the ability to deploy to. I'm just going to go with the DHCP network in this case. You can always come back and modify this if needed. So we'll hit next. We'll finally be on the apps section. So again, if you're only looking to do SSP, you can hit finish here, but obviously we want to enable Nutanix Calm. So we're going to hit the checkbox for enable app management. Uh, well, there'll be some info here we see. And then finally down here, the Nutanix seeded blueprints. Uh, we're going to leave this checked because we want to include uh, about 20, uh, as of this release, uh, 20 Nutanix official uh, seeded blueprints, uh, which allows your end users to have one click deployment. So finally, we're gonna go ahead and click Finish. And we'll see a pop-up that we received the request to enable Calm. We'll hit OK, and then now we'll just wait for about five minutes and come into the Apps tab up at the top and Nutanix Calm will be deployed. So I'm going to go ahead and log back into Prism Central with uh, the engineer at NutanixDemo.com uh, AD account. This is a, a project admin account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on apps here at the top. This is for the uh, Nutanix Calm UI. We'll next go into the marketplace. So we're gonna see the all the available marketplace apps uh, to this particular user. So this is gonna be a combination of Nutanix, uh, official Nutanix seeded blueprints, and then also custom blueprints uh, that developers have created in your organization and then publish to the marketplace. So for instance here, you see about four different lamp icons uh, and also who published them. So this upper left lamp icon, we see uh, Nutanix. So that is the official Nutanix seeded blueprint. And then we see these other items uh, uh, published by Chris. So cb at NutanixDemo.com. So we'll see both things. Today we're going to walk through uh, deploying the Jenkins blueprint. This is an official Nutanix seeded blueprint. Before we hop into that actual deployment, 
we're going to need to do one thing that is required for our marketplace launches, which is to create the environment section in projects. So if I click on the projects icon, I'm going to come to the engineering project and then click on environment at the top. So we're going to be configuring the AHV on Nutanix environment section. Uh, again, this is required for all marketplace launches. So essentially this defines uh, information about your Nutanix blueprints uh, at the project level. So this allows uh, to Calm to know specific things about your environment. For instance, uh, the network adapters. So Calm actually is going to need to know uh, which network to deploy these uh, applications on. So we'll start there. We'll go ahead and select the demo VMs uh, network. And then essentially for this project, all of your uh, marketplace apps will be deployed on that demo VM network. So we'll select uh, these credentials here. You need, uh, typically need both a key-based and a password-based credential. So we'll select that. And then finally, I'll come up uh, back up to the top here. For other items uh, within your project, you might not want to have it configured project-wide you know, for all settings. So for certain things like the VM name, we're going to want to be able to you know, uh, configure that on a per-application basis. So we're going to go ahead and click on the running man and watch it turn blue. That will enable uh, the users to specify the VM names at launch. Uh, same thing with the image. Uh, we're going to specify that at runtime. And down here, uh, depending on how your environment is set up, you, know, you might wish to specify these vCPUs or you might want your end user to specify them. I'm going to go ahead and specify them in this case. And that's all there is to it. We'll go ahead and click Save and make sure it saves correctly. Uh, we see that it was. So next, we'll come back uh, to this to the Marketplace. So now that we're back in the Marketplace tab, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Jenkins app. We're going to see some information here. Uh, this could be provided, again, by Nutanix or your developer uh, if it's a custom blueprint. And we're next going to hit Launch. Uh, we have to select the project. Obviously, for the particular user I'm logged in as, they only have access to uh, one project. Uh, but if you have a user that's uh, in multiple projects, this allows them to differentiate where they want that application deployed. I'll hit Launch and wait for the application page to pop up. I'm going to name this application. It'll just be Jenkins Demo, but name it anything. Uh, this does have to be unique, uh, but otherwise name it to your liking. So next I want to walk through a couple of things here that are important. So if we expand this VM configuration, we're going to see a couple of settings here that are already have been defined by the blueprint. One important thing is uh, the cloud config and using cloud init. And we see here we're going to be adding uh, the public key of the Prism Central VM into the authorized key section of the Jenkins VMs. That will allow us to do uh, passwordless SSH. So in order to do that, I'm going to specify uh, the public key here. I have it copied into the clipboard already from the Prism Central VM. And I will paste that in. And then scrolling back down, another thing we'll notice uh, is that we need to select the network adapters. We'll go ahead and click the demo VMs again. And finally, we'll do the same thing on Jenkins Slave. We'll see the NIC needs to be selected. And that's it. We'll go ahead and hit Create. And this will take uh, about 10 minutes to deploy. Uh, we can see the, the steps that it's going through in just one second as we go to the application page. So we see it's provisioning up in the upper left. 
Uh, we're going to have VM information here in the middle uh, once the VMs start getting spun up. And we also see some variables down at the bottom. So the, the most interesting part is coming here to audit and we can expand this create section and we'll see a step-by-step -step process of Calm deploying the Jenkins application. So now we see that the create task is finished up. I'm going to go over here to overview, verify. We see that the application is running and now for the, the final setup, uh, we're going to go to the services here and click on the, the Jenkins master. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this IP and browse to it. And we'll see that the, uh, Jenkins is currently locked. So what I'm going to do is, is SSH into uh, this master VM and grab the initial admin password as located on the server. So here I am, SSH'd into it. If I do a cat on that file, we'll get the initial admin password. And we'll go ahead and paste that in. Click on continue. I'm going to go ahead and install the suggested plugins. And we'll just give Jenkins a couple minutes to get set up. So now that Jenkins is finished setting up, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, an admin user. Hit save and finish. And we'll click start using Jenkins. And here we have uh, a fully configured and running Jenkins application. So the last thing I want to show is back in Calm, we'll come here to the Manage tab. And we'll see the all of the actions that we can run on it. So upgrading Jenkins is included in this Nutanix blueprint. We can stop the application, uh, get it start back, start back up again. And then finally, we can uh, delete it if we want to delete the underlying VMs. Or we can do a soft delete, uh, which will uh, remove the application from Calm, but will leave the underlying VMs up and running. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Calm videos.